experience here, but this is my way of thinking about tape. Number one, tape is a great experience. It's, I think, I think that it's a really cool medium. It's one of the only types of music that people were buying that like, if you wanted, like, think about it, you could like just record over it, you know? Yeah. Like tape, tape is what spurred like making mixtapes for your friends and for yourself. And also like, you know, I know that there were like rewritable CDs for a period of time or something, but like, right. You know, you, you can't take a vinyl you bought. Not that you would want to do this. I'm just saying it's like, it's, it's interesting. It's like a, a medium that people can mess with and change and do stuff too. And, and it just rocks. So the other thing is what you got to think about is look, I think about it all the time because we're selling vinyls at like the shows. Right. Right. And I love vinyl. If I had to pick one to stick with, I suppose I'd stay with vinyl. I think that's right. like probably the, the top of the tier, but the barrier of entry, if you want to get into analog music on the cassette tape side of things is way cheaper. You can get a cassette yep. player off Amazon for like 15 bucks right. with a pair of headphones and you can like rock out and enjoy like a different way to listen to music. But if you're trying to go vinyl, I mean, dude, you got to hunt down a vinyl player. You got to get speakers. Maybe you need a receiver. It's, and I'm not saying anything bad about that, but if you're thinking to yourself, I want to get my first vinyl, like you got a long way to go to listen to it. Right. Yeah, you still got to get other things in place. Yep. Right. So my question is, how do we get a bunch of people back into fifteen dollars Walkman so that then they're like primed for it? So when tapes come out, they're like, "Well, I have a player. I'm ready for this." You know, that's yeah. kind of where my head's at. 